let us pray. Father, we thank you for the another opportunity you have given us tonight to be in your presence. Baba, adupe lo wo yin fun ore ofe miran te tun fun wa le ni lati wa ni waju yin. We are going to hear your words and listen to your words. Make the words to perfect our lives in your presence in Jesus name. A fe gbo oro yin je ki oro yin ko tun aye wa se luruko Jesu. And Father, we are saying that your words are wonderful, precious and it turns every heart evil heart unto you let every evil heart be turned unto you in the name of jesus oro yin ti o ma nyi okan pada a fe ko yi gbogbo okan to buru okan to le a fe ko yi won pada si yin ni oni ni oruko jesus in jesus mighty name we pray ni oruko jesus christi ni agbadura we are listening to a message that is wonderful today a fe 30 And the title of our message for today is Akori Iwasu Waloneni. Don't put God in a box. Mashefi Olonu Sinua Puti. Seek his directives always, always. Ma bere ton in Lord or a new book way For every man has an enemy. Into the book when you are new ta. Don't put God in a box. Ma se fi Olorun sinu apoti. Seek his directives always. Bere to ni Lord ore ni gbogbo igba. For every man has an enemy. Tori gbogbo eniyan le o ni ota. We are reading from Proverbs 16 verse 9. Anka lati iwe we ori ikerin di ni ogun ese ikesun. A man's heart devised his way, but the Lord directed his steps. Aye eniyan ni in pinu ona re sugbon oluwa ni n to isise re in exodus 23 verse 22 ninu we exodus ori iketa le ni ogun verse 22 but if thou shall indeed obey his voice and do all that i speak then i will be an enemy unto thy enemies and adversary unto thy adversaries ori ori igeji le ni ogun sugbon am ese ikeji le ni ogun sugbon bi iwo ba gba ohun re gbo ni tooto ti iwo si se gbogbo eyi ti mo wi nje emi o je ota awon eni ti se ota yin emi o si foro awon ti nforo yin in first samuel chapter 30 verse 8 ikini samuel ori ogbon Verse ikejo 30 verse 8 Ikini Samuel ori ogbon ese ikejo And David inquired at the Lord saying Shall I pursue after this troop Shall I overtake them And he answered him Pursue for thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover all David this is very lord oluwa wi pe ki emi o le pa ogun yi bi emi o emi o le ba won o si dahun o si da lohun pe le pa nitori pe ni bi ba iwo o ba won ni gbigba iwo o si ri won gba sam 107 verse 20 ewe orin ewe orin da fidi ori iketa dini adoje ese ogun he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions oran oro re o si mu won lara da o si gba won kuro ninu iparun won i'm saying thousands of people including christians are putting god in a box opolopo awon eniyan papa ati awon christian won fi olorun sinu apoti by failing to ask for god's directives for important things they want to do nipa kikuran lati bere itoni lodo olorun nigba ti won ba fe se ohun to ba se pataki like when they want to travel inside or outside the country they Be, need to ask god for the leading and protection bi igba ti won ba fe rinrin ajo boya ni inu orilede abi won fe rinrin ajo lo si oke okun won ni lo lati bere lowo olorun some when they want to get married they have to ask god for the right partners 
opo nigbati won fa fe gbe gbe yawo won ni lo lati bere lowo olorun lati yan fun won because the bible says in second corinthians 6 we are not going to read it 14 to 16 that darkness and light have nothing in common tori bi bele so ninu ikeji corinthians ori kefa lati ese ikerin la si ikerin dinu ogun a o ni le ka subo bi bele so wi pe okukun ati imole won o le se po also some students or when they want to further the education or they want to go for, for higher uh to higher institutions they will not pray or ask for god directive concerning the right schools and right courses they want to do opolopo omo ilewe ni ngati won ba fe lo ile eko giga won ki won yi be won ki ngba adura ki won bere lowo olorun pe ilewe wo lo ye ki nlo ati eko wo lo ye ki nse some also when they in problems they refuse to ask god for the right solutions opolopo ni ngati won ba wa ninu isoro won ma nkuna lati bere lowo olorun fun ona abayo at the same time many people just figure out how god we do that expected miracle they have been seeking for opolopo igba ni awon eniyan ma nfi ori ara won ro won ma wo bi olorun se fe se ohun ti won ti nbere lowo olorun how we got get me out of debt ba wo ni olorun a se yo mi ninu ngbesi how can god give me that baby which doctor say it is impossible ba wo ni olorun yo se fun mi ni omo nigbati dokita ti so wi pe ko se se when you begin to worry and you begin to sweat yourself figuring out what God will do i'm saying you are putting god in a box ningba ti o ba nfi ori ara re ro to nwo nti olorun yo se ti o nwo bi olorun yo se se o nfi olorun sinu apoti you can help god o le ran olorun lowo why because the bible says he who promises is faithful and we do it tori pe bible so wi pe eni ti o se ileri o ti o ti se ileri yo si se and this is what you can find in first thessalonians 5:24 a o ri eyin ninu iwe ikini thessalonica ori Karun ese ikerin le ni ogun But when let's look at 1st Corinthians 1 verse 9 First Corinthians 9 Ikini Corinthians 1 9 Ikini Corinthians ori ikini ese ikesun 1st Corinthians 1 9 Ikini Corinthians ori ikini ese ikesun God is faithful by whom you are called unto the fellowship of his son Jesus Christ our Lord Olododo ni Olorun ni pase eni ti ape yin si sinu idajo omo re Jesu Kristi Oluwa wa We can see that God is faithful. Aleri wi pe Olododo ni Olorun And whatever you ask from God he will do it for you. O nko nta ba si bere lowo Olorun yo se fun wa And the Bible tells of God that oh is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Bible says of fun wa wi pe ohun ni iranwo wa ohun ti ni abo wa ni gba ichoro. I want to ask you. Mo wa fe bi o. Do you know you have enemies? Nje o mo wi pe oni ota. Many people don't believe that they have enemies. Opolopo gba wi pe won ni ota. If you say that you don't have anything, therefore you have no enemies, it means you have not understood what it means. To ba so wi pe o ni ota, o tun mo si wi pe o loye nkan ti ota je. Then it means you have not read Proverbs 14:20. O tun mo si wi pe o ti ka iwe owe ori iko e ori ikerin la Proverbs 14:20 Iwe owe ori ikerin la ese ogun the poor is hated even of his own neighbor but the rich have many friends Ati le korira talaka lati odo ala aladugo re wa sugbon oloro ni ore pupo So therefore you can see that even the poor are hated. Aleri wi pe eni ti o je talaka ni papa o tun ni ota. In that uh, uh, Proverbs 19 verse 4 and verse 7. Ninu iwe owe ori ikokan di ni ogun verse 4 says wealth make many friends but the poor is separated from his neighbor. Ese ikerin so wi pe oro fa ore pupo sugbon talaka ni ni ore re n yera fun we verse 7 says all the brethren of the poor do hate him how much more do his friends go far from him the, he pursue them with words yet they are wanting that running away from him eh ese ikeje so wi pe gbogbo awon arakunrin talaka ni n korira re 
melo melo ni awon ore re yo ha jina si o unfi oro tele won shubon won jina si they run away from me because he's poor won sa fun tori pe o jatalika is an enemy to them what I'm saying is, wherever you are, you have an enemy. Do you know those in high position, especially in Christendom? Those people that are going to For example, general and state overseers. I won't be a they have enemies. Others in big or small towns. They have enemies. The head of state has an enemy. Enemies that want to topple or rebel against them. And that is why you see them having soldiers guiding them from time to time. If you go to the scriptures again, can you remember David? Who son Absalom rebelled against him? And he invited so many highly placed people like Ahitophel. And so very many, many people went against David for doing no wrong. If we look at 2 Samuel chapter 15, Second Samuel 15 verse 5 says, And it was so that when any man came nigh to him, that is to Absalom, uh, to, to, uh, to, to do obeisance, he put that he, and kissed him. Huh. Are you right? And on this manner did Absalom did to all Israel that came to the king for counseling. Ese i kanu ati kefa be ni bi eni kamba si sumo la ti teri ba fun onosi na wo onosi na wo re asi dimu asi fi enu koli enu iru iwa ba yini Absalom si fi fa. So Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. Absalom Ara Israel Verse twelve. Verse twelve of that chapter. And Absalom sent for Ahitophel the Gilonite, David's counselor, from his city, even from Gilo, why he offered sacrifices. And the conspiracy was strong for the people increased continually with Absalom. Absalom was in Russia, where Aito Ferry, Ara Giloni, Ibimo Daffidi, Lati in Ilure, Wa, Ni Ani, Lati Gilo, Nimbati, Onru Ebo, Idimo Luna, Si Le, Awan, Eniosim, Po, Sodo Absalom. And there came a messenger to David saying, the hearts of the men of Israel are after Absalom. And you can see why Rufun Daphidi pe okon awon okon Israelis she si Absalom. And David said unto unto all this unto all his servants that were with him at Jerusalem. Arise, let us flee. For we shall not else escape from Absalom. Make speed to depart, lest he overtakes us suddenly and bring evil upon us and smite the city with the edge of the sword. David is here with whom go go and want a non share re. Ti o walo do re. Ni Jerusalem upe. Edide, edje ki asalo. Ni tori pe ki kosi. Eni ti yo ba ba wa lo wa Absalom. E yara ki e lo. Kuro ki o maba yara le le waba ki os ki o ma si mu ibiba bawa ki o ma si fi ojuida ba eluru. And the king's servant said unto the king, Behold, thy servants are ready to do whatsoever my lord the king shall appoint. 
awon iranse oba si wi fun oba pe gege bi gbogbo eyi ti oluwa wa oba n fe wo awa iranse re ti mura and the king went forth and all his household after him and the king left ten women which were concubines to keep the house oba si jade gbogbo ile re si tele oba si fi mewa ninu awon obirin re sile lati ma so ile let's see what started e je ka wo ese ogbon let's see what happened to the king e ya wo nti o sele si oba by the time he knew absalom was after his life nigbati o mo wi pe absalom wa emi re ese ogbon was started ese ogbon David si ngo ke lo ni oke igi olifi o si un so kun bi o ti ngo ke lo o si bo ori re o un lo lai ni batali ese gbogbo eniyan si wa lodo re olukuluku okunrin si bo bo ori won olukuluku okunrin si bo ori re won si ngo ke lo won si so kun bi won ti ngo ke lo and David went up by the ascent of Mount Olivet and wept as he went up and had his head covered and he went barefoot and all the people that was with him so covered every man his head and they went up weeping as they went up and this was starting David is in go ke lo ni oke igi olifi o si n so kun bi o ti n go ke lo o si bo ori ori re o n lo lai lai ni bata ni ese gbogbo eniyan si wa lodo re olukuluku okunrin si bo ori re won si n go ke lo won si n so kun bi won ti n go ke lo so we can see david as a king his own son stood and rebelled against him ale ru bi pe david gege bi oba omo ara re ni o ni o dide ti o si se lodi si may god deliver us from this world of sin and satanic influence in the name of jesus ki olorun ki o gba wa lori aye ese yi ni ati aye buburu yi ni oruko jesus ami those in high positions have few people praying for them awon ti o wa ni ipo giga iwon ba pere te ni awon ti n gbadura fun won do you pray for the general vice and the state of vice in je o ma n gbadura fun awon adari re ni ti apapo ati ti ipinle do you pray for the president and the governors of your state in je o ma n gbadura fun eh awon olori ni ilu ni orilende re ati ni ipinle re and for good leadership fun itoni ti o to and for their salvation ati fun igbala okan won begin this prayer today bere si n gbadura fun won lati oni lo and we thank god why enemies are busy plotting by night we have a god who never sleeps or slumbers adupe lowo olorun pe bi awon ta se n pe ninu ni oru awa na ni olorun kan ti ki sun ti ki si nto gbe and this god who is busy you know does not allow any enemy to overcome us olorun yi ko si ni gba ota laaye lati bori wa we are reading from psalm 121 anwo iwe orin david ori ikokan le ni ogofa Psalm 121. Iwe orin David ori ikokan le ni ogofa. From verse 3. Lati ese iketa. From verse 3. Lati ese iketa. From verse 3. Lati ese iketa. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. And he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Ohun ki yo je ki ese re ki o ye. Eni ti n pa omo ki yo to gbe. Verse 4. Ese ikerin. Behold he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Ki ye si anything pa Israel mo ki yo to gbe be ni ki yo sun. Verse 5. Ese ikanu. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Oluwa ni olupa mo re, Oluwa ni ojiji re ni owo tun re ese ikefa. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. Orun ki yo pa o ni gba osan tabi osupa ni gba oru. Verse 7. Ese ikeje. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Oluwa yo pa o mo kuro ninu ibi gbogbo yo pa okan re mo. Verse 8. Ese ikejo ti o 
Cain. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Oluwa yo pa alo ati abore mo lati igba yi lo ati titi lai lai. This is what God does every day. Oh, unti alo ron sheni bobo igba ni ye. Even why people are not even praying for you, God is busy keeping you safe. Ini ba ati awen ni yonko ti le igba dura fun o alo ron pa omo o uchi she. We can learn from David. He knew how to use the most potent weapon against his enemies. Ale kwe kola ra dafi di tori ko mo we jato ye ko lo lati fi doju ko tare. When we look at Psalm sixty-eight, verse one. Ti aba wo ori dafi di ori i keji di ni adoni. Verse one says, "Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him." Ese ikini ki Olorun dide ki o si tu awon ota re ka ki awon ti o korira re pelu ki won sa lo kuro ni waju re Your enemies have been scattered in the name of Jesus Out to ota re ka loruko Jesus Your enemies have been scattered in the name of Jesus Out to ota re ka loruko Jesus My listeners and viewers Eyin te n gbo mi ati te n wo mi Our God is a great God Olorun wa je Olorun ti o lagbara Listen to what the Bible says about him. In Psalm 107, verse 20. God, God, God sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. This is God. If you trust him, he will deliver you. Are you sick? He will heal you. What is your problem? Don't put him in a box. Let him know. He will deliver you. Many people seek for deliverance without any regard to the potent word. Without which they cannot be set free. Don't ignore the word of God. If you ignore the word of God, you cannot live right. Oh, Because Matthew 26, verse 41. It gives, it gives us some, uh, some instructions. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, 41. Matthew Ori Ikaridini Ogbo Ese Ikini Forty One Ese Iker I Kokonini Ogoji Emma Shono Kesi Mag Badura Ki E Yima Babosino I Dewu Lo Tony E Mi Feshukon O Shia Lera Fumara When you watch and pray and you obey the word. And you allow the power of God to lean upon you in prayer. You have power to pray for a long time and of course settle on God. God is ready to hear you. God is ready to make you to run away from sin. And the Bible says, Bible is so we in Romans 6, 14, for sin, for sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under the grace of God. In Philippians 4, 19, the Bible says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. believe what God has said, poverty shall become a story in your life. Don't put God in a ball. Stay clear of doubt. Stay clear of doubt. 
And he that doubted is damned if he eat because the he, uh, he eated not of faith. For Nin, whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Ninu iwe romu ori romu ori e kani la ese e keta leni ogun o soi kwe shukban eni ti oba unche ye meji o jebi bi oba o jebi bi oba je bi oba je ni tori ti ko ti inu e bagbo wa ati o un ko un ti ko ti inu e bagbo wa e sheni and the bible tells us bible is so fun wa wi pe but without faith it is impossible to please god lai si e bagbo ko se se lati wo olorun for he that come to god must believe that god exists tori eni ti o ba to olorun wa yo podo gbagbo pe ohun wa and he is the rewarder of them that o si ni oluse san awon ti o ba wa so we need to believe in him. Then you have been advised. Be out of witchcraft. Wizardry. And familiar spirits. In Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12, we have been given that uh, instruction. You know, it will Deuteronomy ori ikeji di ni ogun lati ese ikewa ati fun wa ni oro yi there shall not be found among you anyone that make his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that use divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch ko ki o ma si ki a ma se ri ninu yin eni ti yo mu omo re okunrin tabi omo re obinrin la inaja tabi ti o nwo se nwo se wo 